Today then we're going to have a look at a fault in the engine control module. What we have is a brake vacuum pressure sensor signal error. So I'm thinking that perhaps the, there is a problem with the connection of the brake vacuum pressure sensor. Okay, so we don't have any warning lights on the dash apart from the automatic start-stop which could be connected to the brake vacuum pressure sensor. So the pressure sensor is located here under this panel. Well, I think that it is this thing here. A little bit difficult to get at. And here it is from the other side. That guy in there. And this is the replacement part. Looks like it's a reused part, second hand part. I was expecting a new one. Uh, the image looked like a new one. And I bought it from eBay, but it looks like it's just had the BMW logo etched off. I'm not sure why they would even do that. So here's the part that I bought, and that's the price. And there's the condition 100% brand new. Let's hope that this is going to work. So this is what the brake servo looks like and we're going to be plugging the sensor into this rubber grommet here like that. So now we're going to remove this whole piece here to get access down there. We're going to need to disconnect this plug, unclip here and here. And it's the same process on the other side, we're going to remove this sensor as well. We're going to remove this big piece now. Okay, we have a lot more access. We do have a little bit better access, but it's still going to be pretty tight to get to this thing. Okay, so get a light, position it so you've got light, adequate lighting. Get your bent needle nose, insert it in this way, behind the sensor and then twist like this to lever it out and then you're going to use the cable connection and you're going to pull it up this side okay you can pull it out here this way and out it comes here's the new second hand sensor and here's the old sensor that's just been removed. I'm going to spray a bit of silicon lubricant on this new sensor. So you want to get your screwdriver over from this side and you slit it into a little slot in the back of the connector. So that's how we position it over the hole. That is not easy to do without knowing that little trick. Now we're going to use another screwdriver from this side to press it into the grommet. And there we have it, reinserted. Well, I'm sorry to say that the sensor that I just installed didn't solve the issue that I was having. Either the sensor wasn't working or there's something else going on. I'm going to try another sensor, I think. I'm going to pay a little bit more this time. And uh, hopefully that's going to solve the issue. I'm just going to do the same thing. So the video will not be updated. I hope it was of some help to you and uh, thanks for watching.